Bauman Medical. What happens in a consultation is you've had your hair measured. So we've done the hair measurements. That tells us exactly what's going on at the level of the scalp in the most permanent zones okay. and compares that to the other areas. So for example, the vertex or crown, which is where the swirl is. I'm going to show you okay. what that looks like. And the frontal zone as well as the temples. But the first thing we typically talk about is like, you know, well, what is your concern? I'd like to look like I do now uh, when I'm really old. So a few things happen. Um, yeah, you, you did lose a couple of... Uh, two fingers. Yeah, two fingers there. But also, just in terms of hairline shape, um, most people have this bulge of hair that kind yeah. of comes out this way and that mm -hmm. fades with time too. So when we repair, replace, restore the hairline, usually we try to figure out number one, where should it be in the frame okay. of the face, like right here, yeah. right? Should it be a little bit lower, a little bit higher, somewhere in that range. Most people are kind of shocked and surprised that they, they would expect to see more hair yeah. under the microscope. All right, so I'm gonna start with the physical exam. First thing we're gonna do is just Test the elasticity of your scalp. So this will give us an uh, average of how much sebum you're producing. What is this thing? This is a pH meter, so now I am testing your pH. Right now, we're just doing some microscopic photos, 200 powered, so we can get a very good look at what's going on. What we're looking at here under the blue light, you're gonna see the sebum light up as that kind of greenish color, and then the orange is oxidized sebum. So that means it's been there quite a long time. Next step for you is to get a scalp makeover. design work and see what you think about it and then we can chat. The markings are a guide for us to develop the hairline in this area. We're in the middle of making the sites, the recipient sites where the hair is going to be implanted. So the stroke of my hand in this phase determines the angle, orientation, and position of all the hairs that will be implanted and growing eventually in Dave's scalp. You're not gonna see the hair line once the hair grows in because it's gonna be a soft and wavy zone. But during this part of the procedure, we're performing the extraction, we're gonna take these grafts one at a time using the follicular unit extraction FUE technology that leaves no linear scar, minimally invasive. So a procedure like this could move up to 10,000 follicles in a single session. Right here, we're harvesting the hair follicles. So during the harvesting process, we're gonna be extracting the grafts individually one at a time. So this requires no scalpel incision whatsoever, no stitches or staples. We're gonna take each individual graft, which contains as little as a single hair follicle, and they'll be ready for implantation. Once we're into the implantation phase, the grafts will be implanted by my team and we'll be watching as each graft goes into place and examining, make sure that they're of the appropriate depth and that every single site that I've made gets filled with the transplanted graft uh, before we wrap the bandage over it. I'm all done. I've got a fully upgraded head, uh, at least the outside of it, still working on the inside. And it's been surprisingly easy. Well, Dave, it's great to see you. Uh, we're uh, 12 months out from your procedure. I've definitely noticed it's, you know, the hairline is, is 
it's good. Everyone's, in fact, I've had hundreds of people say, Dave, you know, how come your hair looks the way it does? This is amazing. It's it's looking great, man. And let me tell you, um, you know, obviously we've done, I've done over 10,000 procedures and 25 years of being in hair transplant. I don't think I've ever seen anyone grow as fast or as strong as you had. My hair looks better now than it has in years. And then obviously having hairs, you know, moved around is, is very helpful. So I'm very happy. Normally during our 12 month post-op, I'll I'd like to go back in time a little bit, to show you uh, some of the photos that we took prior to the procedure. These are some of the photos that we took on the morning of your procedure. So it dates back to uh, March of 2020. And uh, here we could see exactly what the hairline looked like uh, before we got started on you there. So quite a different look from where you are today. Like mm -hmm. this one, for example, pop that in. This is after here. you'd already shaved parts of it for the transplant, I think, yeah. So you came in with the CEO hawk, so that was super helpful. Um, yep. But uh, but obviously we changed the hairline on you um, in a number of different ways, not just in its height and its location, but also uh, out here in the temporal areas where you had some pretty deep recession. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, and then the other photo that uh, I'd like to show you is what was going on in the crown area. So this was your crown zone. Pretty incredible because you, you can't really see that uh, unless you take a picture like that. So it's it's a little bit different now. Probably not a view that most people uh, would see on you, but yeah, this was uh, a pretty big divot. We filled that area in obviously with the transplant process. So um, the only other photos I have are some uh, at the time when we did the, the wide shave on you there. So the areas uh, that we harvested, of course, the plan of action, you can see mm -hmm. some of those uh, photos there, the mapping and the planning and the artistic design. And then of course the crusting that you went through the healing phase uh, starting out just immediately the day after the procedure. So, but, uh, but yeah, you're, you're doing great now. It's looking awesome. I, I'm very pleased that I did it. With follicular unit extraction, you should not see any signs whatsoever that a patient has had a hair transplant procedure, except thicker, fuller, healthier hair and a more youthful hairline, more coverage, more density. But you're not gonna see any telltale signs. You're not gonna see any linear scar. You're just gonna see beautiful new hair growth. Bauman Medical.